What up guys? Moody here. And today I'm gonna show you this little eye fruit trick. Um can't get the Yanktons and you can't get Benny Wheels this way, but there's a lot of other things you can do with this. Changing parts, um a green window tent, um custom tags, you know, tags that don't look right. And they were numbers shifted to one side. Pretty cool. Remove parts, things like that, funny wheels. Um uh, alright, you're gonna need two things and they're both free guys. Um you're gonna need your uh uh iFruit app obviously, you know what I mean? Easy to sign into. Just sign in with whatever uh email and password you use for your social club and it'll link you right up to the iFruit app. Um that's free. Um uh, my recommendations guys, Windows ten. Uh I'm telling you, anything before that, you're gonna be looking at a bunch of third party programs, you know, it's a pain in the ass. I really tried it on my Windows seven machine, just wasn't worth the time. Now it's Windows ten, loads right up, works every time. Uh, second thing you're going to need here is this GTA save editor right here. Um, 3XT Infinity. Let's do this. This is free as well, guys. Right there. And it's this one right here, guys. You know what I mean? Note the date. You know, I mean, obviously, if you look at and find one that says 1113, uh, uh, 2007 it's obviously not going to work you know what I mean or whatever it's just look at the dates you know I mean? you can tell which one is the most recent it's usually on the top uh, so you just click that dude and right there too you know it tells you last update so you can safely assume that this is going to be the working version of the save editor um, uh, simple installation just a few megabytes a few hundred megabytes not nothing big you know I mean? no gigs or nothing really really simple um, now when you unload it into your desktop here you're gonna have to run this thing as administrator guys if you don't run as administrator it ain't gonna allow it to work in my earlier video segment I showed you I just did this with the vigilante that was my first test run using this method and works pretty good alright I'll see a quick Grand Theft Auto 5 then, all right, I'm gonna kick over my remote play here too, guys. I like having everything in one screen here. Let me just see what's going on. Okay, so there's us right there. Hi, everybody. Okay. All right. So what you're gonna do here is, is load up this iFruit option down here. Um, select your platform: PS4, Xbox, PC, whatever and then connect. Now chances are it's not going to connect you. Um, so what you're going to have to do is, is you're going to have to uh, go in here, produce the license plate, buy it, purchase it, accept it, you know what I mean, and then redo your purchase. It'll override that purchase so it don't even matter. You're not even going to be spending no money, um, but it will unfreeze it. So just like it. Watch. Okay, if I try to do this, all right, it'll say that right there. Just order a license plate. Okay, so just sign on in your iFruit app here. Go to Los Santos Customs. We'll do that slam van here in a little bit. Be pretty cool. But yeah, I did this uh, vigilante right here just a few minutes ago. Looks pretty cool. We'll do the Tesseract because there's a little trick with this one as well, guys. You can actually put turbo tuning on this car. Huh. Pretty cool. Now, me personally, if you drive a car out and then pull another car out, it will um, refresh your uh, iFruit app faster. You know, I don't know why, but it's goofy. You're going to notice it. Let's drive another one out. Now, our Tesseract should have just loaded right on it. Go on the freaking building, baby. Whatever. That just seemed way too unnecessary to me, but anyhow. Right, back in here. 
All right, we'll just hang out by that guy for a minute. All right, we got our eye fruit open. So what we're gonna do here is go to our plate. Change your plate, order the plate, accept it. Now we should be able to get in there just fine. Connect. There we go. We are in, ladies and gentlemen. Go to your garage here. Go over here to single player, set it to multiplayer. And your first character is zero, second character is one. Um, that one's pretty tricky. Uh, I suggest just starting out on your first character here. Uh. All right. And also, this character is a uh, level 12, uh, so these options aren't even available yet so that's another pretty cool thing to this you'd be low level and fully customize your car here turbo tuning boom just put turbo tuning on an electric car that does not have it get our green window tint Custom plate, what do we want to put in there? Let's see if it'll let us do this one. Okay, click order. Get back in your game here. That should prompt our uh, Los Santos custom. There it is. Just like that, guys. Look at there, got the green tint in the window. And the blank modded license plate. Just input question mark instead of a number in there, and it'll produce the uh, blank plate, guys. Um, <laughs> pretty cool. Uh, interesting way to make uh, modded vehicles. Um, options are limitless um, you can get into fine detailing um, which leads me to believe that uh, you can uh, uh, pretty much remove parts uh, with this method uh, similar like the merge glitch or original uh, Charles Proxy and iFruit uh, uh, method here um, I'm actually about to produce the uh, super slam slam van with this method um, it absolutely works 100% it is gonna work um, I put the uh, modded wheels on the vigilante here I'm sure I'll be able to take the roll bars off that Mesa and the rear end off that cork head as well um, now as for bending wheels and yankton tags uh, I'm not able to produce that uh, but this is still a good way to produce some uh, modded vehicles guys um, don't necessarily have to have bending wheels or yankton tags to be a unique modded car um, yeah I tried this guys um, it actually gives you the different rim options, but it will not change. You can't flip rims with this method, even if you already got them on there. Um, Benny's rims are a no-no. So are the Yankton tags. Uh, but, yeah, super simple way to uh, mod your own vehicles, guys. Um, like I said, this uh, save editor, hazard, and your iFruit app, totally free. If you got a PC, you can jump on there and do this right now. Um, free you all. Uh, this is Moody765 and hopefully it's helpful.